Hi guys, hope you're all having a nice weekend. Jimmy here in Chicago. Today we're going to talk about this guy, Danny Seifert. Danny was uh, one of the 18 murderers presented at the Family Secrets trial. He was in business with Milwaukee Phil, Joey Lombardo, Tony Spalatro, and others. Danny got in some tax trouble. He did decide rather than go to jail, he was going to cooperate against his fellow businessmen, making him a huge target. Now, the motive behind the Danny Seifert killing was the Teamsters Central Pension Fund. Back in the 70s, this was worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The prosecution said in opening statements, this was the mob's golden goose, their piggy bank. They used this money to open up and build casinos in Las Vegas. Danny Seifert's testimony would have had a major impact on the Teamsters Pension Fund. They had to kill him. Now, the all-star team in the Family Secrets trial was led by legendary Mitch Mars on the left, Marcus Funk on the right, and John Scully. These are some of the best prosecutors in the country. These gentlemen put away pretty much the entire Chicago outfit. They were very well prepared and had a very solid case, ending in convictions of all the defendants. Now the, now, the evidence they had against Joey was the motto, the Teamsters Pension Fund. They found Joey's fingerprint on the title and the work card that they ditched. Mrs. Seifert got on the stand, started crying, got all emotional. She testified it was Joey who was one of the masked gunmen that killed her husband that day. And next, my favorite, the alibi. He claimed he was at a police station reporting a robbery. He bought some transmitters. And he bragged about it a little bit on the golf course to Alvin Rogers. Mitch Mars told the jury that Frankie Schweiss was one of the masked gunmen, along with Joey Lombardo, that went into the Seifert office. He grabbed Danny Seifert, cracked him in the head with a gun. He tried to handcuff him. Somehow Danny Seifert broke free. Danny Seifert's running for his life. He gets outside. There's Tony Spilatro, Joey Hansen, and Joey Hansen blasts him with a shotgun, killing him right there in front. Nick Calabrese testified that John Fecarata told him in detail on who was involved in the Danny Seifert hit, including Joey the Clown. Fecarata was the wheelman in the Danny Seifert hit, and they almost got caught that day. The cops were in high pursuit, and Fecarata somehow was able to ditch them and lose them and get away and save everybody from going to the jail. Now here's a tragic photo the prosecution showed of Danny Seifert right after he got killed in front of his business in Bensonville. I remember seeing his family in court every day. My heart and prayers go out to them. Danny Seifert, like Hoffa, was warned repeatedly by his friends to back off, lay low. He refused 